advantage of the opportunity. Mm, you good girl, Kimari. Now you is jealous. That's how it goes. You have found a new spot. Right there. Would you like to go to the snow, baby? Mm? You just want to kiss my face? I think I get about a hundred kisses a day from Titus, approximately. I think I'm about... 60% <clears throat> awake. That's it? Not processing anything yet? It's okay. The coffee will slowly wake you up. It's decaf. <laughs> <laughs> that is so not helping then. They're just lazy in the morning. It's so cute. Like 
Sorry, more. Gotta be fair. Hold on, you know. Do you go, girl. It's clean for the next use. Mm -hmm. You bring more. Stay babies. All right. Okay, now you get this one. Oh my god. I guess you have a long tongue, go for it. No. Titus, you want some too? And this one? Alright, good babies. That's it. No more. Good babies. Good baby. I should love you too. Hear you sweet love. Mm -hmm. You wanna lick my hands? lamb bones I'm gonna try this for the first time I'm sure they're gonna love this this looks really good
some liver okay oh my good girl was that delicious I do the things you love mm -hmm. you want some liver I'm gonna go get some liver okay Girl, 
stay my body yeah good baby stay oh my god I'm so excited venison liver and they love this so much I'm just getting one cube today can I put it down on your mat or you can inhale it from my spoon <laughs> it got inhaled almost on the way yeah it's not even touching the, the mat they want to. You want to go snow? <laughs> they're so sleepy. So relaxed. Well, they're gonna wake up. I know, the moment they see those red backpacks. You want to go? Tell you you want to go? You know you want to go? You want to go? Yeah, I'm kind of kind of tired of sitting down, so I should get going. All right. Let's go to the mountains, shall we? Babies, you ready? Mars, hey, you ready? Go? Let's ready? go, puppies. It's snowing outside. Sweet. I'm going to go change. Okay. Pretty good setup. You guys ready? Having this hat with a thing on top when it snows. You came up with that. It's definitely snowing. How these look? You ready, babies? Okay, I got my phone for tracking. Should um. Me too. Kill all your apps so you don't, yeah. your battery doesn't die. Alright, let's do this, babies.
Little crazy girl. Why are you so nuts, huh? Hmm? Why are you so nuts? Once you get to the other side, you can call him. You know, come here. I'm gonna have to hold you. Mari, come here. Come, come, come. Okay, stay here, stay here. Stay here, okay?
I think I have a really good New Year's resolution for all dog parents. <laughs> What's that? Can you guess? What did we, what did we not do years ago before we did this? Go on a diet. <laughs> yeah. Well, people always do like a health New Year's resolution for themselves, right? Like they do a New Year's health resolution. I think it's time to do that for our dogs. I think that one of the best things that we can do for our dog's health and well-being is switch them to raw food. It's been a while for the pups and they are thriving. They're doing so wonderful. All these crazy zoomies on the trail, on the snow, having so much fun. They are not puppies. I've been with these babies for a long time. And I really think it has to do with the raw food. That's my opinion. Well, that's also a holistic veterinarian's opinion. The one that helped save Kimari's life from cancer in 2018. That was to date three years ago. So yeah, it's doing the pups wonders. There's one little one here that I spilled. All right, almost there. It's actually easier feeding dogs raw. <laughs> I just thought about it. It's easier than making yourself and your family food than cooking. Like this food that's in the oven for us right now took longer to prepare than this raw food. Isn't that fascinating? All right, perfect. Who had a little bit less of this? So the perfect balance of organs and bones and rotating things and the right organs. It's wonderful. Such a wonderful way to feed our dogs. But yeah, I think that people can really make this a New Year's resolution for their dogs instead of just for their own health. I think dog parents want their dogs to be healthier. I think people just don't know how to do it, right? That was a problem too. So yeah. Look, Yuna, Yuna has slowly traveled her way forward. They love deer. Venison is one of their favorite proteins. So it's very difficult to control themselves with venison. This is amazing behavior <laughs> for venison. Yeah, that's, Almost there. It's kind of surprising actually. Well, we put in the work. It's called the Husky Squad Method. The right training. Titus is squeaking. He's a squeaker. Yep. He's got the longest tongue too. <laughs> Almost there, babies. Almost. It's amazing to feed them like this. I remember I used to feel so guilty feeding them kibble, but I was also scared that if I were to make them my own food, that it wouldn't be complete. But after learning everything and spending time with three of our holistic veterinarian friends over the years and all that stuff, it's amazing to actually know how to feed them properly and feel confident as a dog mom. I call myself Mama Wolf because I genuinely feel that I am such. But it's a beautiful feeling to be able to put this meal together and to rotate their meals and to know that this gives them exactly the nourishment that they need instead of opening a bag of kibble and there's all this crap in the back in the back of the bag. So giving them this kind of food, you can see every ingredient. It's like the best thing in the world as a dog parent. There's nothing like it, knowing what they're eating and having the confidence to understand how to put food together is amazing. Plus, this was also almost for free because <laughs> we sourced the deer ourselves, locally harvested. But in our course, in our Cable to Rock course, I guide exactly how to do all of this, no matter where you live in the world. And we actually never feed more expensive than kibble. This is like, yeah, this is pretty normal that they actually, the price that it costs to feed them like this, and this is why it can be such a good New Year's resolution, is because it's even more affordable than premium kibble, sometimes even cheaper or free, which is amazing. So that's why we created that Kibble to Rock course, because we are passionate about this stuff, right babies? And 
almost ready. Give me a minute. I'm gonna put all the stuff away and then you guys are gonna be good to go. You know you're traveling a lot. You know? Where's my goodest girl? Mm -hmm. Nice eye contact, Mama. Good girl. My body, you ready? You good boy, my body. You're gonna get some treats tonight from mom and dad's food. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna get some dessert too, just a little bit. Because you can't have all of it. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit. What, you, you want some of our dinner? Mm -hmm. Titus is still going at it. Is he the only one that got a bone? Yeah, he got like, probably like a little bone in it. He's totally enjoying it. He's so funny. Nice dental work right there. You guys are flossing. What's happening, Yuna? It looks so freaking cute. They're all eyes on me because I know I'm about to do something. What's going on? What's going on? You guys are going to get a little bit of our dinner, huh? I'm starving. I don't know about you. I'm starving. It's been a long day. They should probably have first bite, huh? Yeah, first bite for the puppies. What are you giving them? I'm giving squash. them a, a curry squash. You know, you want some? You good girl. Oh, yum. Oh, taste gets yours. How about we try it? <laughs> Isn't that so strange how the wild turkey is so much more flavorful and juicier and Everything, because I'm not a big turkey fan usually. Where's my good girl? Yum. I'll give Titus. Titus, you want some, buddy? You want some turkey? Good boy. Mm. I'm curious to, to try the skin, because I remember the skin is supposed to taste really good. Last time we made it. Mm -hmm. Did you hear that? Did you burp? That was a unibirp. She doesn't usually do this. Usually it's Kimari. She's ready for another piece. There she goes. Good. It's not as dry as other turkey I've had in the past. Yum. This is like camping except Christmas camping. Christmas camping. Cozy winter camping. Imagine doing this in the snow. We were going to at some point. Yeah, I would love that. I don't know if we can have this kind of setup, but. I'm sure it's going to be really nice. Things are so crazy here, I love this. So guys, 
this turkey that we're having right now, this wild turkey. Here's a little cool story about this. So we made friends with a local gen gentleman who has lived here in this region for generations. What is it, like five generations or something? Yeah. Generations, generations. So he's a grandfather and he's teaching his his grandson self-subsistence to hunt and to fish and to do all those things himself here locally. So he taught his grandson to hunt a turkey. And I think the little boy is like, what, eight years old? Mm -hmm. Seven or eight. So this was his first turkey, his grandson's first turkey that he harvested. And his grandson loved it so much, enjoyed the experience of self-subsistence and learning how to do this himself, that he wanted to hunt more and be able to give it to other families. So this wonderful gentleman decided to drop it off for us, give it to us as a gift, and so we can enjoy it as a family. And then he, oh, you are so cute. And then he just, he went for another hunt. I wonder if he actually got another turkey, but such a great way to provide for the family. And we're so grateful. This is so much more than just a turkey from a grocery store. This has so much more meaning to be able to share this together. Kimari has literally a smile on her face. Look at that smile. <laughs> She's cheesing. I know. I'm gonna wanna have some of this too, guys. But this is a very special meal because of how we got this turkey. So it's really nice, really nice for the holidays. Beautiful meal and a great gesture. And we're so grateful for this experience. And um, since then, we actually got our own turkey too at this point. We went out ourselves and we got our own turkey and that was its own story. An amazing story actually. But we'll leave that for another time. We can do a lot of candlelight fireside stories for you guys. But it's an amazing experience to be able to provide for your family yourself. We are very, very grateful. Babies, you want some flan for dessert? Do you like flan? Can't wait to try it. Rob, our noses are going overdrive. They're breathing heavy because they're excited. Yeah. Right? They're really excited. Very excited. They just had some turkey, some squash, and now they know they're gonna have some more of something. And this is just something special for today. This is not every day. They eat raw food, like you guys saw, a raw food diet. <laughs> But this is very exciting. Hmm. <laughs> You're gonna be shocked. Really? You need to try this. All right. Let's see. Since Stacy raves about this, you don't rave about things easily. Ooh, it's got a nice texture too to it, huh? Mmm. <laughs> this is really good. You know, I promise you're gonna get some in a minute. Okay? The nice thing that this is 100% sugar free, just made with raw honey and monk fruit sweetener. So, no sugar. We actually don't have any sugar in the house, right? We're not really sugar people. This is made with raw honey, and this quack gonna have a tiny, tiny bit. Let's try Yuna first. You, you want to try custard for the first time in your life, Yuna? Oh God, life is going to change after this. You ready for it? Where's my eye contact? This is very special. Mm. That's good eye contact, Mama. You ready? Oh, you're able to hold it. Oh, look at that. <gasps> <laughs> I think her life just changed. <laughs> And guys, I know you're looking at this and you think you can give this to your dog. Yes, you can on a very, very rare occasion if you make this yourself with healthy ingredients. But very rare and very little, very tiny amount. All flan has, well this flan is, where's my eye contact body? Mm -hmm. 
Okay, you can hold the eye contact party. There you go. Life is changing. But this flan, all it has is organic, grass-fed, pasture-raised, the whole nine yard, um, whole milk, local pasture-raised and organic eggs, and raw honey, vanilla, cinnamon, organic vanilla, raw honey, pinch of salt. <laughs> It's so cute, so good, huh? Did you love that? And I think that that's it, right? What else is in here? Oh, the monk fruit, the monk fruit sweetener. But that's how simple this is. So it's not actually bad. It does have sweetener. It's not something that we give to our dogs on a regular basis, sweetener. But on a very rare, cozy winter day, a nice fun day. You guys are treated like royalty, huh? But you deserve it. So serious about it, aren't you? So serious. Patty is serious about it too. Look at her. Look at the little tongue. <laughs> can I reach over there? Yeah, I can reach over there. Yeah, I think you can do this. Their lives are forever changed. What does that taste like? Like eggs? Like milk and eggs? I'll give you more in a minute. You gonna give them more? Look at that face. How do you say no to this face? That was amazing. Damn. I feel guilty eating in front of them with, the, with those faces. <laughs> look, look what Yuna's doing. Oh my god, this girl, she put her face on really, the table. Really, Are you trying to manipulate me? But it works though. It is working. <laughs> wow. Are you gonna fall for it? You are gonna fall for it. Wow. <laughs> Who's gonna get it first? You fell for it. Look at Yuna. She's so serious about this. Alright, last one, Yuna. Oh my god, that face. <laughs> really? Alright, that's it. That's it. That was the best day ever. You like anything? Titus, was it the best day ever, Patty? Yeah, it was the best day ever. Ooh, she's being, she's testing her waters. 